welcome, my name is Lainey, in case you didn't know, and today we are going to be doing a tour of this Boston University dorm where I live. So a little bit of history on this place. This is actually a converted dorm about a hundred years ago. This was the Jocelyn Diabetes Center, which was a hospital that treated diabetes patients. So in other words, there are a lot of ghosts. So without further ado, let's explore this place. We got trap doors, we got creepy elevators, we got staircases that lead to nowhere and doors in the middle of the wall. We have it all. So let's go. This is the first thing you see when you walk into this brownstone. And if you go over here, we have the common area. So very nice. Got our lovely fireplace our heaters. Uh, this is where maintenance sits from about 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day and uh, they watch sports games. We have our lovely restroom with, that was creaky, with no trash can and no paper towels. <laughs> this looks like it's for a horror film. And of course, if you want to do some praying, we have church pews. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Here's our first little door. It's just a little storage compartment back here. I've been in it a few times. I mean, we can. We can open it. Yeah. that. And uh, if you follow me this way, got a lovely mirror. You can see our handsome cameraman. Okay. <laughs> You're so weird. Uh, we have a creepy staircase, which we'll explore later. Our even creepier elevator. I got trapped in this elevator and had to be rescued by the fire department, so I don't use it anymore. Um, the way I got trapped was really physically impossible, so haunted dorm confirmed. Um, we have our staircase that goes to a half door, and then we have a full door on the right for size comparison. Really creepy. And then. Wrong, wrong light. It's fine. Okay, and then this is our kitchen. Disgusting. Um, yeah, one of the stove toppers is like tilted, so it doesn't really work. Um, it's super tiny, but also it's nice to have your own kitchen space. Uh, yeah. And then we go to the base. Well, do we want to go to the other common room first? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, anyways. Okay, so next up we're going to go to the other common area, but we're going past the RA, so we've got to be extra quiet. There's someone in there, but look at this cool. No, it's fine. We'll be out in a second. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. <laughs> People. Okay, now we're gonna take the staircase actually down to the basement. Uh, there's a lot of, there's like three staircases. Do you want to go through the tiny door staircase, Leo? Uh, I'm good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can show you it in a second, though. that way. What was it? Was it from behind you or from this? It's creepy. Hopefully there was some people in the dorm room. That's scary. Okay, um, this is our laundry room. I think it's adorable in a really creepy kind of way. Thankfully, this one has two washers and this is two brownstones all together. So it's about like 50 residents or so. Uh, I don't know, four times. Well, if there's four on each floor, five floors, so 20, 40. Okay, yeah, so a lot of residents. But it's, no, wait, there's more than that. There's eight on each floor. Okay, I can't do math, it's fine. <laughs> taking level 300 finance and statistics and can't do multiplication, fine. Okay, so this is something really cool right here. We have this just like random wall. Um, it's a little creepy. We have a door here and um, what I like about this one is that you can see framing for a window right here. Like at the top, you see the framing by the... No? Again. I think that's the person living there. That has to be the person. That's way too creepy. Yeah. Uncomfortable. This place creeps me out in the basement. I hate coming down here. Okay. So, we're going to very carefully uh, go up these stairs over here. I'm not going to be going down the little one. Yeah, that's a person. Um, so this I, this space I find really interesting because a lot of these are painted shut, so you can't open them. So it kind of begs the question of like, what was in here? It's literally painted over and painted shut. You can't open any of this. And then we have drawers right behind the staircase here. And I think that's a little creepy. And of course, up here we have the half doorway, which is like, like really, why? See how weird that is? What? So that's strange. Um, and then where I'm standing right now, this is a trap door. Uh, you can tell from the way that it's just laid down in this rectangular shape that this is false flooring and there's something underneath there. So, <laughs> and then the elevator door here is much shorter than all the other elevator doors in this dorm. And I just think that's a little weird and a little interesting. And when I got caught in the elevator, I was coming from the basement up to my dorm room. So take that as you will. And then we have some more creepy doors, another staircase over here. More creepy doors, more creepy doors. A lot of this is just storage. There's like tiles and stuff behind it. And then we have this little area. Um, I don't know, it's, it's creepy. I feel like this was used to store medical supplies. It just looks like that to me. But next to it, we have a water fountain that's like really nasty looking. <laughs> And then we have this padlock door, which is probably from facilities, which is totally fine. We have more doors. 
and then more padlock doors just padlock doors all around which is really creepy and then we have our staircase leading up over here but Yeah, I know one of these is a bathroom, but I don't remember which one, and I'm <laughs> too freaked out right now to open any. It's like 1 a.m. right now. Um, don't want to die today, but lots of weird shelving units. Yeah. <laughs> so, I guess we can head back up uh, this staircase. Let me see if I can see them. Oh, you can't see them from here. This staircase has like these doors randomly in the center walls, but we can take a look at that a little bit later on because it's, uh, it's a little strange. So, sure you don't want to take the mini door up? I'm more than okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we have windows there too, so. Bye, creepy. Okay, and if you follow me, we can actually start heading up. So this is my favorite part of the dormitory, and it's just this beautiful, like, spiral staircase. I just think it looks really elegant. And then we got a lovely chair here. Okay. <laughs> Um, under the staircase is actually a bathroom, which is like super interesting. It's like a shower. Um, yeah. Uh, this is my favorite door of the dorm. Relatable. Yeah. And then I like this thing here. Okay. <laughs> And we can start heading up again. Yeah, so kind of boring, but we have all these like lovely details everywhere, which I think are really cool. And then if we head up one more floor, that is where my room is. So, Yeah, we have this lovely divider here. We have two bathrooms on the floor, but I'm not allowed to use the women's bathroom according to facilities. So yeah, I use the men's restroom, which is about a third of the size, really tiny. <laughs> And then there's just, there is a fifth floor, but it is ugly. It's really ugly. Oh, we have like pretty skylights out there too, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, you're getting them. Yeah. Yeah, so our fifth floor is just ugly, but uh, last thing I want to show is if you just peek inside here, you can see these like doorways just like in the center of the stairs. And it's just a little weird. Yeah, so these doorways just lead to little storage places. Um, <laughs> I don't know who would use storage places in the middle of a staircase, but it was a hospital, so probably storing hospital stuff. But uh, yeah, this leads us to my room over here. And I actually have a tour of my dorm room if you want to see that too. So stay tuned for that, or if it already came out, then go watch that. But that is our haunted tour. Also, let me know if you want to hear about my creepy dorm room experiences because I have a lot of horror stories living here, including how I got trapped in the elevator and had to be rescued. 
by the fire department. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you're a prospective BU student, feel free to reach out to me and see if I can answer any questions for you. This is however filmed <laughs> I, like over a year in advance just for my safety so no one knows where I live so I don't live here anymore but I can still answer any questions. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye!